everybody, how you guys doing today? My name is Nick, otherwise known here as Valence, and today we're going to be looking at the Elder Scrolls Online Collector's Edition. So this I got in last Friday, I did open it up Friday night, couldn't contain myself, and uh, the unboxing video I did was a little bad because I was pretty exhausted, it was around 2 a.m. in the morning. I told myself, oh, I'm going to wait until uh, tomorrow morning and I'll open it up, but I just couldn't, right? I had to open this thing up. I've been really anticipating this Collector's Edition specifically uh, because of the statue as well as this beauty right here, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, but this is a great collector's edition. So really today, let's just kind of discuss what's going on with the collector's edition and is it worth the price. Uh, so go ahead and get started, I guess. I will say that the price tag on the Elder Scrolls Online collector's edition, or the Imperial edition as it's known online as, was a hundred bucks. Now for a hundred dollars, you're getting a lot of good stuff here. You can tell this one was really designed for the fans, and that's a key point here. Now as far as stuff I cannot show you, you do have digital content. The digital content includes two vanity pets uh, from the Explorers pack and the Imperial Collector's Edition itself. In the Imperial Collector's Edition you got a pet mud crab. You also had a pet uh, vanity, what was it, a mud crab scuttler? And then there was another one, a small animal beast, right? I think it's a guar if I'm not mistaken. And then you also get access to play as any race in any alliance, plus the Imperial race and the Imperial horse. So I will include screenshots of those all at the end of this video uh, to show you guys what those are. Now, going into the actual physical items of the Collector's Edition, the box is gorgeous, uh, really nice box. I went ahead too and I took off, you have the sleeve here, which is right there, there's the sleeve. Uh, it's just really reflective with my current lighting situation, so I went ahead and took it off. The box is gorgeous. You can tell it's designed more toward the Imperial side of things with the dark red and then the yellow as well. Uh, but pretty solid box. You inside, you had the statue, the collector's edition case, the map that we tend to always have, and then you also have this piece right here, the book, which is gorgeous. So going into each piece, the Molag Ball statue, I think, is what most people are interested in. And it's pretty solid. You're going to have a tail that's going to clip on back here, and then it clips onto the actual statue itself. He's holding up a Nord, it looks like, right there. But the statue is just a smaller plastic one, right? It's good for a collector's edition, but it isn't something that you can go and sell for twice as much money. It's kind of a nice little package, though, again, for Elder Scrolls fans. Now, when you look at the case, the case is the Imperial follow-up, so you do have the Imperial case there. Matches the actual game case as well, which is nice. It is a steel book, which is great for those of you that collect steel books, such as myself. And then on the inside, you actually have the four discs, which are all colored differently and set up in a nice way. So that's a good package to have as well. Now, moving on, I want to go ahead and discuss this before we get into the art book, because the art book is insanely gorgeous. So you do have a map, and I'm not going to unfold it all the way, but there's not a lot of detail on the map. You know, it's what you'd expect uh, out of a game like Skyrim's Collector's Edition. So let's go ahead and give you guys a look at this. So you can see right there, it's, it's nothing too crazy, but it's nice if you want a wall map to hang up. I personally left my Skyrim one up, but uh, I may throw this one up there eventually. So you do have the map, right? Now this is the bread and butter, guys. This is the art book. Now I thought it was just an art book, but it's actually a uh, guide to Tamriel, right? Which is just amazing. Uh, the art in this is so well done. As you can see, I know there's a little bit of a reflection. You guys get some close-ups here in a second. Uh, but wow, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous art book. Uh, and there's also a story. It's all handwritten uh, by one of the uh, Imperial City scribes, which is great, on his journey, you know, documenting everything around the world. Uh, it, it's great. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's actually leather-bound, which is nice. You guys, I don't know if you can see the straps there. Unfortunately, I don't have control over my camera right now. Uh, but you can see there's leather-bound straps and the actual leather cover. I don't know if it's real leather. It doesn't feel like it, but it's possible that it could be. Uh, and then you also have the small little book page mark to hold it in. It's a very well-constructed book, and honestly, I could see this going for $50 itself. This is huge for Elder Scrolls lore fans. I actually read this my Friday night instead of playing the game. Uh, it is great, and I'm about 50 pages in or so, but I, I can't stop reading it. It's a fantastic book. So, that's pretty much everything, guys. I mean, you look at it, you look at the $100 price point, and this is one of the better price collector's editions. You can tell this is clearly made for the fans, and it's absolutely worth your money if you can still find one on Amazon, eBay, or anything of that nature. So this is a great collector's edition. I'm extremely satisfied with my purchase. Uh, the Molag Ball statue, which was a little more detailed or a little more intricate, but you can't win them all. This art book, though, tops it. This thing is gorgeous. So that's it, guys. The Elder Scrolls Online Collector's Edition, absolutely worth your time, and I definitely recommend you guys try to figure it out, and or I guess figure it out in the sense of trying to find one and grab one if you can. But feel free to share your opinions in the comments below this video, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and feel free to subscribe here for more discussions, especially about these collector's edition things. I love these little pieces, as well as ESO stuff coming up in the next few weeks. So, my name is Avalance. Please enjoy the photo slideshow as I always do on these. Uh, so, these are some close up photos of all the products. You guys can get a better view of them. And then I'll also include screenshots of the in game items as well. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys, and enjoy your week.